stuff out back when they were a shipping city. Before they became a music city. No, I'm just kidding. He ain't that old. But he did hang around with the likes of uh, a bunch of guys back there. And I didn't even know that was before my time. But he had a he had a hit one time with a man named John Anderson called Chicken Truck. That uh, become an iconic classic. Hey, can we make donations for him? <laughs> he said, yeah. He said, yeah. He said, yeah. He said, please. <laughs> hey, I ain't getting into that. But anyway, we got uh, Jim's done a, done a great, done a lot of teaching around the town here. He's gotten, uh, got his own show down at the Von Braun Center once a month. Friday, y'all just did that this past Friday, right? Yes, a couple Fridays ago. Every, every Friday, but the, fifth, uh, the 25th of this month is the next one. If y'all want to check that out, go down there. It's always a great show because it gets all the best songwriters out in Nashville come down and do it. Y'all give it up for Mr. Jim Parker. Yeah. Next yeah. up, we got Mr. Shane Atkins. Yeah. Shane, I don't know anything about, so I'm going to let Jim tell you about it. That's a good thing. He'll tell you all you need to know. I don't want to tell everything I know. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Jim. I appreciate you bailing me. <laughs> Next to him, we got Andrew Pope. Andrew Hales from DeKalb County. We're up here somewhere near about there. Andrew's trying to, he's trying to do the, the Music City cut an album thing, so y'all keep an eye out for the stuff Andrew's coming out with, so I'm going to have some good stuff. And next to him, we got Mr. Billy Droz. Nashville, Tennessee. Drove all the way down here today. He's lovely why I didn't make the trip. Don't know why. But two babies. That explains it. Here's some babies. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up for the Nashville team. Yeah. 